And we are back. Thanks for staying with us. Next, we have a filmmaker and script supervisor. He's also well, um, he's also known as a documentary filmmaker. Mm -hmm. He is Fashoha Oluwa Tosu. Fashoha. <laughs> Fashoha. Fashoha. Yeah. Oluwa You're welcome. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. All right. Okay, so uh, tell me about your voyage into the filmmaking industry. Why did you decide to and when was it? Uh, okay, so since I've been in primary school, I've loved, like, I've been in church drama and all of that. So mm -hmm. I've loved to be in the entertainment industry, so right from my primary school, mm -hmm. secondary school, then uni. Mm -hmm. So in uni, I met um, a lady, she's a school supervisor, and I so that, yeah, I want to understudy, I want to learn more um, about script supervising. So, and uh, yeah, from there, she got me on board. I was understudying her, and then from there, the story changed. Right. Okay. Um, let's talk about you being a script supervisor, right? Okay. Um, when going through a script, because I'm sure, like, you must have met or <laughs> gone through, through, sev gone through <laughs> several, like maybe a yeah. thousand scripts. Yeah. What is that script that, you know, um, is compelling for you? What makes you, what's that thing when reading a script that makes it a, like this is a fantastic storytelling? Uh, yeah. What's that thing you look out for? Okay, so um, whenever I read a script, yeah, I look out for like different things. Microsoft. Yes, Microsoft. sometimes. Um, Sometimes, like, I was, like when the story is different from what um, other people have done and all of that, yeah, the cliche thing, yeah. So when I read the script, I, when I see something, I know that, oh, yeah, this, this story is fantastic. Like, I want to be on it and, and all of that. Okay, okay. Now, I mean, from um, script supervising, you've also played um, director, um, a director's role, role yeah. as well. Assistant director. Assistant director. <laughs> I mean, so first of all, a lot of people yeah. don't know the difference, right? I didn't okay. also know the difference until I went to film school and realized yeah. that, see, production, they're like, all oh, man. So now, what is that different? What what's stands you out, assistant director and then from the director? What are your roles, basically? Okay, so assistant director basically is the one... Um, that helps the director that moves the set, that makes sure that things work on set, that makes sure that all departments are on their toes, moving and making sure that, oh, okay, yeah, we get the day done. So basically, an assistant director is just one that just makes the production move. All right. Okay. Now, um, you have, um, like she mentioned earlier, yeah. <laughs> you have um, gone, you've been on a lot of sets, you've been involved in a lot of productions. Um, and you have worked with different characters, and I mean the people now, I'm not talking about the characters they play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is your biggest challenge, you know, through, you know, your journey mm -hmm. in the industry? Wow, well, I've had a lot of challenges, but right now I don't think I can, <laughs> I can think about you one. can think of any one. Okay. Yeah, okay, well, while, I, so I, while you're thinking, <laughs> let's actually take... Um, one, um, something we're talking about very soon, Living mm -hmm. with Bipolar, we want yeah. to see a clip um, of that um, documentary. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what inspired the Living with Bipolar documentary. Okay, um, so what inspired the Living with Bipolar documentary? Um, this is special came about last two to three years. Um, I was on a set and then there was this particular person, yeah, she had mood switches. Yeah, she's happy now and then she's angry. And whenever she's angry, she can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Whereby she can take her phone, throw it at people. Yeah, so I'm like, this thing is not, not normal, but like, I don't know where it is at so that it wasn't, time. It wasn't an act. It was actually her personality. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like, what's, what's wrong? Like, I need to know more about this because every time the thing happens, every time, every time, then I read on it, I went online, read on what this could be. Like some people on set say, ah, I think this person is bipolar, bipolar, yeah. bipolar. I'm like, oh, okay. And I went online, I read what um, bipolar disorder is. And from what I saw, I noticed that, oh, okay. You were able to connect the dots. Connect the, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what did it take you to actually put this... Um, documentary to life because we see you talking to different people probably mm -hmm. professionals 
Yeah, so what did it take to actually put this together? Okay, so what it took was, okay, so when I had this whole idea, then I'm like, yeah, I think I want to do a documentary on this. Okay. Yeah, so even before this documentary, I have an idea I want to shoot is also um, related to mental health as well. I had an idea, so I'm like, but when I saw this, when this whole idea came in, I'm like, oh, let, me, let me do this. Because I went online as well. I saw different content about that documentary, but I want my own to be kind of different. Yes. So what makes it different? Yeah, so what makes um, my living with bipolar different is, is because some other documentaries I've seen, I didn't see like the medical practitioners okay. are treated. Like, it focused mm. on the people living Yeah, it just bipolar. focused on the people living with bipolar. Like mm. they have three, five mm -hmm. people being interviewed, but mine is different in the sense that I brought in the doctor, the nurse, the therapist, and if I want to go for, I will have brought in the psychologist and mm. all of that because it's a really deep mm. topic. Yeah. But I just okay, I just okay. Let me just have the therapist, the mom, mm -hmm. the nurse. So you actually doctor. met with someone who's living with bipolar. Okay, so this this came. So the the lady that's Titi, mm -hmm. um, she put up all of all these stuff on our WhatsApp status. Okay. Like she's bipolar, blah, 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 that she's taking her drugs. So. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was having this whole idea of coming up with okay. this documentary. So you reached out to her? Yeah, and, and I saw her and I okay. like, oh, Titi, can I do this new with documentary you? form mm -hmm. with you? And she was like, yeah, that should be happy to yeah. come on board to do that. Talk about okay, it. so let's, talk about okay, I mean, it. okay, I mean, I, I think it's great work. So mm -hmm. now let's talk about other projects you have. So you have one. Um, 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 something about the Bamidilis. Oh, okay. Um, something wrong with the Bamidilis. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that we've okay. done. We've done. Tell us about that. What was that about? Yeah, something wrong with Bamidili is two to three years. Two yeah. to three years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't really remember. That was a 2021. 2021 project. Yeah, project. Right. yeah okay. it's the long. So it's just about a lady. Yeah. Suffered After childbirth, oh, okay. she was suffering from... Postnatal depression? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah she was suffering <laughs> from that. There's <laughs> <laughs> so a long project, like, so after that, I've done, like, a series yeah, of other projects. Yeah, other So, are you yeah. working on anything presently, and what, what should we be looking forward to? Yeah, I'm working on, on stuff currently, and I'm also planning to shoot other documentaries as, as well. Okay. okay. Do you yeah. want to give us insight on one of some of those documentaries? What are they going to focus on? Mm. Mm. Maybe when it comes out, you see. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, um, it's it's amazing when we see people yeah. focus and tell stories about mm -hmm. um, issues, social issues as such. You know, um, mental people living with mental health issues. Um, I think they should be given a voice, yeah. and that True. way, they, other people could also learn from you know um, their stories as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. And we're wishing you all the best. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. I mean, so much more still to come right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Don't go anywhere. Quick break, we'll be right back.